Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Love From Lizzie's December 2019 card kit. Can you believe it's the last kit of the year? This year has gone by so fast. The theme of the kit is simple pleasures and I just love the colors and a lot of the papers and stickers and cut aparts have a little bit of rose gold foil on it, which is just stunning. So let's go ahead and get started with card number one. I'm gonna use a sketch Saturday number 591. The pattern papers that are included in the kit are six inches by eight inches. So I thought it would be perfect to do duplicate cards using that pattern paper as the background because you can easily get two background pieces out of one sheet of paper. So this background pattern paper is four inches by five and a quarter. And then I add another eighth of an inch for this green cardstock to add that matted layer. And then I'm just using some like a soft peach pink color. This is some cardstock from my stash just for that strip to go across the card. And I just lined it with some rose gold peel offs. This peel off color is included in one of the additional peel off bundles that coordinate with the kit. And since that background pattern paper is so busy, I made sure to use some solid and then also just a real muted pattern paper for the other two elements on this card. Now for the sentiment, I'm using some of the stickers that are included in the kit. There are lots of positive and uplifting sentiments included in this kit. So I chose two, I'm using two different colors, and the first one is replenish, and then this white sentiment is enjoy this moment. I thought they went well together. And I did decide to cut some fishtails on the end of each of them. And these are stickers, so really easy to use. You don't have to add any extra adhesive. And they are easy to reposition if you haven't really press them down firmly. So I am adding just this little flower behind that top sentiment. And then just to make sure it's all going to stay in place, I just put a little drop of liquid adhesive underneath that right hand side. And then I decided I'm gonna pop up the little floral bloom with a thin foam dimensional square. And then I pulled out a couple of these rose gold hearts, putting them in place of where the stars are on the sketch. So I debated about adding some sequins. So I'm moving them around on the card so they're still dry. I haven't used any liquid adhesive on them. I'm trying to see if I like the placement. But I felt like they threw the balance of the whole card off. So I decided to go without them. I think just the hearts and the flower were sufficient. So there is my first card and I did make two using this sketch. Now on that second card, I did use a couple of sequins since I only had two of the rose gold hearts. So now moving on to my next set of cards. This sketch is by MFT, it's number 230. The background paper has all of these polka dots in this beautiful rose gold foil. And then I'm using a very muted tone on tone I have a burgundy color for this rectangle piece and I just rounded all the corners. I'm layering all of this in some coordinating cardstock and I believe this is the color that came with the kit. I do include a lot of extra cardstock simply because I like to use lots of layers on my cards. The tag is one of the many ephemera pieces that are included in this kit. So I'm just using some white twine from my stash to go through that hole in the tag, just looped it through and just do like a loose knot. And I just put a small piece of score tape behind the tag where that twine is, just to make sure it stays in place. And then I'm gonna pop up this whole tag with some foam dimensional tape. And I do apologize here, but I had a little unwanted guess and I figured nobody wanted to see that, including myself. So I have my tag adhered to my card front and I put my card front onto a card base. And I'm just using some solid dark green cardstock for this little banner strip that goes below the tag. And since it's gonna go on top of this tag, I am gonna put just a little bit of foam dimensional tape on the outer two edges, just so it's nice and even. And then I just use some liquid adhesive for the portion that's actually adhered to the tag. And now I'm gonna work on my sentiment. So I cut out this circle die cut with some green cardstock and I'm gonna use the sentiment, Hello Lovely. 
I'm going to do some heat embossing. So first I treated the paper with some anti-static powder, stamped it with some Versamark ink, and I'm using the Copper Rose Embossing Powder by Love From Lizzie. It has a beautiful rose gold look to it once it's heat set. This is a really delicate font. I put all the embossing powder on there. I noticed the E and the O was missing their little opening. So I just use my piercing tool to kind of push away some of that loose embossing powder. So I went ahead and heat set this in a beautiful color. So you may have noticed that suddenly there's some washi tape on the upper and lower portion of the screen. I use washi tape to sort of mark off my area where I'm filming so I don't go out of screen. I also had to use a different capture device and what I saw on the screen was actually not what was recording. It was going a little bit further outside. So when I did go and place the washi tape down, now you can suddenly see it in the video, but I decided not to crop in because otherwise it would have been a little inconsistent on the rest of the video. So kind of a long story on that. I've had a lot of technical difficulties lately. I recently bought new lights, which then it affected the coloring of my video. So now I have a new camera, but now the capture device that I use isn't working very well. It actually quit working during this video. So I did have to switch to a different capture device. And then I'm having a little bit of focus issues as well. So I do apologize, I'm working on it. It's so interesting as while I'm testing it, everything looks fine. But then when I start actually recording, for cards to share, that's when it starts having all of the issues and I can't go back and re-film any of this. But anyway, getting back to the card, on this set of cards, I'm using this really fun background paper. It looks like tiles and it has some rose gold along that grid and I'm layering it on some specialty cardstock. It's a copper color, it's a satin mirror paper. It was included in one of the specialty cardstock bundles from a previous Love From Lizzie kit. I love the specialty paper. And then using another piece of that same copper paper, I decided to layer or add a little matted layer to this sentiment sticker. So I'm just using some scissors and fussy cutting, a real thin edge all around. So it has just a beautiful shine to it and then it matches with that background paper as well. And then I'll pop that up using some foam squares. Make sure to get good coverage so one side doesn't sag at all. While I was busy talking about all my technical problems, on that green strip that goes across the card, I use some of the peach sway peel-offs. I believe it's the medium width, and I just put one on each side just to add a little extra interest. And now I'm using one of the butterfly ephemera pieces. I love this butterfly, nice and big and this beautiful green color. I'm just popping that up using some more foam dimensional tape. And then just to finish off this card, I'm gonna add a little banner in that upper right hand corner. And then I'll add just a couple of the green sequins in this lower right hand corner. Trying to decide how I want them. Of course, I'm trying to do three because generally any embellishments look better in three, but I did decide just to use the two this time. And then I had some issues with my capture device, so the video froze, so you didn't get to see me adhere those sequins. But here are the two cards that I made using this same design. So now moving on to my next set of cards. The background paper looked like this beautiful watercolored landscape. So I cut it in half. So the top part is the sky, like a sunset sky, and then the bottom has all of the land and maybe the ocean. So I thought this would be perfect to make two real simple cards, and I just loved the backgrounds. So I'm just layering both of them using some more of that copper satin paper. And adhere those to my card bases. And then I'm just using a few of the ephemera pieces. So one of them has that same look of the landscape and then it has the word replenish on it. Just pop that up using some foam dimensional tape. And then I'm gonna add a few of the flowers on the left hand side. So I was just trying to figure out where I wanted to place them and I did, I ended up putting both of them on the same side. And then I'll adhere that sentiment I like how it matches that background paper. 
Now for the second card, I'm using one of the floral ephemera pieces. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place it. For the sentiment, I'm using one of the add-ons. This is the Rose Gold Thicker Stickers, and I chose the Be Kind sentiment. So I'm just placing that right on top of the flower, making sure to remember the dot to the eye. And then I also decided to use a couple of the Rose Gold Hearts. So these are slightly puffy, so they have just a little bit of dimension to them, but not very much. And then I chose one of the smaller butterfly stickers, and I'm just going to add some foam dimensional tape to the back of it, pop that up above the sentiment, and I could have added more embellishments, but I decided to keep both of the cards very simple. I think that rose gold really adds a lot to both of those cards. So now moving on to my next set of cards. I'm using a sketch from MFT. This is number 252. I chose this pink lattice paper for the background, cut that out using a stitched rectangle die, and then I'm just going to add this solid green cardstock for that strip that goes across the card. And instead of putting four different strips, like indicated in this sketch, I'm going to use some peel-offs. So this is the peel-off color that's included in the kit. It's a green mirror that has some gold foil on the edge. So I put one piece on each of the outer sides of that green cardstock. Then I placed another strip in the middle. And then I'm using two more going in between those others. So it looks like now there's those four different strips that are about a fourth of an inch wide. Then I adhered that whole panel on some white pearlescent paper, and then I'm layering that on this dusty pink cardstock. And you did see there's that whole cut out of the back. I did use the background paper to cut out the matted circle die cut for my sentiment. So I have a stitched circle die cut, stamped the sentiment, you are sweet. I'm going to pop up all of that using some foam dimensional tape. And I'm following this sketch very closely. And one of the reasons I chose this sketch was so I could use the Nouveau Drops in this fun pattern that's all over this sketch. This is the dirty bronze color and it's included in the kit. I like this brown color with this soft pink and soft green. So I do give my card just a light tap to flatten out those drops. So there are my two cards I made using this sketch. Now moving on to the next set of cards. This sketch is by MFT. It's labeled as Guest 0712. I found it on Pinterest and I thought it looked like fun. I'm using some tone-on-tone -tone pink paper for the background and then this really pretty floral design in this dark green. I'm just going to layer it all in some dark green cardstock and this is just from my craft room. I'm going to put that card front onto a card base. And then I'm using the die that's included, or one of the dies that's included in the kit. This is Big Thanks. I cut it out of some gold pearlescent paper. This is the add-on paper pack that is available for December. And I did it, I cut it out twice, so it had a little more thickness to it. And then I also cut out the K and the S one more time since that side is going to be hanging off of the edge and I wanted to keep it all nice and even on the card. So I just used some liquid adhesive to adhere all three of those layers together. And then using that same gold pearlescent paper, I cut out these three banners. This is a die, I believe it's by MFT, but I think it's been retired. So you could easily just hand cut these out as well, but I had the die, so it made it really quick. And I laid the three out on the card first so I could get my placement right. And now I'm just popping them up using some thin foam squares. And then just to finish off this card, I'm going to add some of the green sequins. Can you tell this is my favorite color in the sequin mix? I think it just has a lot of contrast and it's beautiful shine. So I'm going to put two of them between some of those flags in that upper corner and then just adding a few of them below the sentiment. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this sketch. So very easy design and perfect for pairing up two different pattern papers. So now moving on to the next set of cards. This is a sketch by Viva La Verve. It is their May 2018 sketch, and I love that it already includes measurements. 
And if you are interested in any of the sketches that I show, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post, and that link is in the description box below. For this card, I'm using some of the yellow cardstock from the kit, and I just use a polka dot embossing folder just to add a little extra texture. And then I have two different pattern papers, cut them out to the measurements on the sketch and just layered them all in this burgundy cardstock. And I'm gonna add a little bit of twine behind the card. This is just some more white twine that I have on hand, wrapped it around the card twice, just adhere it to the back with some score tape. Then I'll adhere that card front onto a card base using a lot of ATG. I always like to make sure my cards are going to stay together. And now I'm gonna work on the sentiment. I cut out this stitched circle die cut using that same paper as the background. And I'm gonna be popping it up with some foam dimensional tape. And it's gonna go around the twine. I don't wanna put it over the twine because it would add just that little extra bump. So I just keep placing that circle on top and making sure that it's all of that foam is going to be covered. And then I saw one more piece was sticking out just slightly. So I just trimmed that down. And I'm using one of the sentiment ephemera pieces. And I noticed just the end of the Y, the little edge of the Y was gonna be hanging off. So I did add a small piece of foam tape. And then I'll just use some liquid adhesive to adhere the rest of it in place. And I'll cut just a small extra piece of twine and tie a bow on that right hand side of the sentiment. Gonna fuss with a little and then trim off the edges. It just didn't wanna lay flat for me right away. And now I'm gonna use some of these fun wood bling pieces. I'm not sure exactly what you call them, like wooden dots. They have some foam dimension tape on the back side of them, which is really sticky. So just to warn you, you, once you put those down, they don't come back up. But I really like the look of them. So now moving on to my next set of cards. I'm not gonna use a card sketch this time. I have some green paper for the background. And then I'm using this pattern paper that has a bunch of positive words all over it in some rose gold. I'm gonna use one of the peel off colors. This is the mint, I think it's moon dust mint green. I'm just gonna outline that green strip with the peel offs. And then I'll attach that panel onto my matted layer. Put my card front onto a card base. And I'm gonna work with one of the wooden hearts. So there are four different wooden hearts that are included in the kit. And I love to do heat embossing on these wooden pieces. It's so easy. So I just press it into the Versamark ink. And then I'm using the copper rose embossing powder again. And I just dumped it all over the front. Using my tweezers to hold this because otherwise you're not gonna be able to hold it with your fingers. So once I get a heat set and it's still hot, I dipped it back into that loose powder that I have sitting on the side. And there is that beautiful color. And I did end up getting powder all over my desk, so you'll see me keep wiping my table a few times. I'm going to adhere that wooden heart onto this circle die cut and the little scallop circle. And I'm just gonna add a little extra cardstock to the top and lower portion of this circle just where it's gonna be going over the little strip going in the middle of the card, just trying to keep everything nice and even, nice and level. And then I'll just use some liquid adhesive to attach that heart. I love all that extra shine with the embossing powder. And now for a sentiment, I'm using one of the stickers on the sheet from the kit, and this is Sweet Memories. I did cut a little fishtail on the right hand side and then just tucked it underneath that scallop circle. And then just to finish off the card, I'm gonna add two of the sequins in that upper right hand corner. And I did make two cards with this design. Now moving on to the next card design. This is a sketch from MFT. This is number 286. The background paper has this interesting design. It kind of looks like little fans. But then Lizzie also mentioned it looked like maybe half of one of the dandelions when it's gone to seed, as my daughter would call a dandelion fuzzy. So I'm just gonna layer that in some of this green cardstock. 
I used one of the pattern papers that has an ombre striped green design on it for that wider strip and then used one of the gold moon dust straight peel offs for that little strip that goes underneath. I used a tag die cut and just cut that out with some green cardstock. And now I'm using one of the keys that's included in the kit. So these little tiny keys, they're really sweet. So I tied that on to the tag using some twine. And then I'll also be using a sentiment ephemera piece that has a be still on it with some little flowers on the side. I'll attach that ephemera piece onto the tag before I attach the tag to the card. I'll make sure I have placement correct. I'm going to put that small piece of score tape just to hold that twine in place and then I'm going to use some foam dimensional tape to pop up the rest of the tag. And I'll adhere it onto the card and this is going in place of that circle element. And then I'm also going to be adding one of these burlap flowers and they do have a little piece of foam dimension on the back side but I decided to pull that off just because it's really thick already. And I'm just going to use some glue dots to attach it to that lower right hand corner of the card. These flowers are really pretty. And then just a finishing touch, I'm going to use some more of those wooden dots. Just trying to figure out if I wanted to put two or three. I decided to go with three. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this sketch. For that second card, I used a couple of stickers instead of the ephemera sentiment. So now moving on to my final card design. I'm using this pattern paper in sort of a mustard yellow color in a tone on tone pattern. Layering that on some more of this green cardstock. I'll adhere my card front onto a card base. Then I'm going to use a few ephemera pieces. So there's a couple of plants, little potted plants, and I chose two of them. Just putting them on the right hand side of the card. And then another ephemera piece. This is a sentiment that has, this is our happy place. So it's this really long banner. I'm just going to pop that up with some foam dimensional tape and then place it over on top of the cards. But you can still see the pots underneath. And then just to add a little bit of shine, I'm using one of the peel offs and just placing it beneath the sentiment on that banner strip. I'm going to use two of these banner stickers and layer them on top of each other. And I thought about cutting one a little bit shorter, but I really like that rose gold element on the left hand side. And just finishing off the card with some more of these wooden dots. I really like these wooden dots. And then I did a second card, a little bit different, use some more stickers and then also ephemera pieces for it. The six by eight pattern paper makes it so easy to get more backgrounds for your card since you can get two out of one sheet. So now here's just a quick recap of the 20 cards I made using Love From Lizzie's December 2019 card kit. This is the Simple Pleasures card kit and it's a beautiful kit, lots of rose gold. I always enjoy the rose gold. As I'm recording this voiceover, the kit is still available along with quite a few of the add-ons. There's just a couple of them that have sold out already. Quantities are always limited and the kits do sell out very quickly. The only way to guarantee receiving a kit is to sign up for a monthly subscription. I have provided links in the description box where you can purchase this kit. Now here's everything I have left over. So I have two full sheets of cardstock and I do have some other little pieces of the other cardstock. I'm not sure why I didn't pull them out here. I have some more of that cut apart sheet three full sheets of the six paper and then some scraps. I have the peel offs, the stamp set, quite a few of the sequin mix, two of those wooden hearts. I still have all of these rose buttons. I ended up not using any of them on my cards. I have all of the dies, one more of those little keys. And then a ton of ephemera. This kit really comes with a lot and then quite a few of the stickers still left over. And then about half a sheet of those wooden dots and then of course the Nouveau drops. I had planned on finishing off the rest of that pattern paper, but with my focus going wonky toward the end and then having my capture not working for me, I decided to call it good after the 20 cards. I will be contacting tech support, AKA my husband, 
and hopefully I'll get all of those little issues taken care of. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.